Hi everyone, I'm going to present XLSR, uh, the cross-lingual version of wav 2 vec 2.0. The whole point of our work is to get representations of speech in many, many languages and representations that can be generally used for, for multiple downstream tasks. Quick reminder of what wav 2 vec 2.0 is. Um, in many ways, it's the word for speech. Uh, the big difference between text and speech is the nature of the data, one is continuous, one is discrete. And Work to Vec 2.0 showed that if you transform um, speech into discrete tokens that you then used for uh, for labels in the math language modeling objective, then you get a boost in performance as opposed to doing directly co contrastive learning um, on either uh, on either stage representations, continuous representations. And interesting, interestingly, also when you train such a models on many languages at once, which is what we do in, in this paper. Um, we see a naturally cross-lingual representations emerge from this shared transformer um, in the sense that closed languages are going to share more uh, parameters, more discrete tokens in that fixed size vocabulary, as opposed to distant uh, language pairs. What's very exciting about work 2 vec 2.0 is the few shot capabilities of the model. You pre-train on unintended data, and then you fine tune on only 10 minutes of ASL data and get quite good performance, which you can even improve using self-training on top of it. And while this is very exciting, this is not particularly useful for English, um, which is by definition a very high resource language. And so to go beyond the, the results of Libre speech, uh, we wanted in this work to tackle low resource languages, uh, at least other languages. And the, the whole point of, 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 the, of our paper is um, to try and compare multilingual model to monolingual models. Because in low resource languages, by definition, you have little supervision, but you also have little unannotated data. And so you can't really pre-train a model directly on, on such low resource languages. Uh, instead, what you're going to do is leverage unsupervised cross-lingual transfer or multilingual pre-training, and hope that the unannotated data that you have in high resource languages is going to help build better representations in low resource languages. And that's what you see here on this spot. You have a comparison between mono and multilingual models, and on low resource languages, you get a big boost in performance while not losing too much uh, on high resource languages, uh, even though you're sharing the capacity of your model across the region. So I think this is really exciting uh, for speech. Uh, this is a really exciting time. We're going to see more and more pre trained transformer being released and accessible to, to everyone so that we can. Um, uh, enable speech technologies in many, many languages and not only high resource languages. So, yeah, thank you. That, that's all I have.